Wagwan Mandem, welcome back to Pro Cycle Manager 2020 for episode number 9 of Redemption Ride, our Williams Martini cycling career mode. Um, today's episode was meant to be the World Championships, however, I've been battling with this A for the past week, well, I said like, not the past week, but for 2-3 days, to be able to do the World Championships. I can't. You can see, like, the, the, the ITT are already shown here. Stefan Kung is t a time trial world champion. I cannot race any of the world championships. Like, genuinely, none of them are... I mean, I, I cannot do any of them. I'm going to fast forward. Um, maybe with some luck, I'm going to be able to make to, to do the, ro the road race. Uh, but I don't believe like I will. So this episode might just be the end of the season. Uh, and we'll do like the usual uh, season recap in uh, well the next episode, I guess. All right, so this is the team I would have gone for for the World Championships, uh, but I'm pretty certain that they're going to simulate the race because if you take a look in the teams in the teams list, right, I'm not there, and I really don't know why. I genuinely don't know why. I've tried a lot of things in the save to make it happen, uh, but but yeah, I'm just not here, so I don't know what's that, what why is that a thing? Um, I'm gonna click on 3D race, but we're gonna see the winner in about a second. And there we go. Tim Wallens is world champion ahead of Jakob Fulsang, Valverde, Pino Bernal, Schachmann, Betancourt, Miguel Flores, Zeitz, and Dan Martin. Okay, 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 okay. That's rare. Every time I like, I, I've done as I said, I've I've tried a lot of times to, to make it work. I think I did it a, a solid six or seven times. Every time it was Julian Lafilippe winning it. This time Julian finishes seventeenth. Big L. Uh, was there anyone from the Great Britain? There was not. So yeah, I don't exactly know what happened. And I mean, if I if any of you had like the same issue in their save. Genuinely, let me know. I don't know if it's a real issue or if it's just like a, a, a safe problem on my end. Uh, but yeah, just just let me know. All right, we're going to forget that uh, we had no world championships uh, and we're going to get this race on the way. I think this is the Piccolo Lombardia. It is indeed. Um, the races left this season aren't genuinely the best. Uh, we have a seven sprint stage race in, uh, I believe, Cameroon or Senegal. I can't remember. Um, oh, my brain has another mare. Uh, I think it's Cameroon though. Then we'll have uh, two races, I believe, in Turkey. Uh, and then we'll have a race in Venezuela. So we're going to be worldwide. No, in Mexico, sorry, actually. Uh, we're going to be uh, Mr. Worldwide for a uh, for final time this year. I'll see what stages I do on the video. Um, well, yeah. It might just we might wrap up the season in this episode. Although I want to make it a set. No, okay, we won't do that. But this one might be a short episode compared to what I previously planned. Uh, because again, I wanted to do the World Championships, but uh, I have been unable to do so. Let's take a look at the start list on this Pico Lombardia. We've got Thomas Pitcock as our favorite. Uh, Berwick, who's not too bad. Diego Andres Camargo, Conca. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Some decent teams. God, you're small. We're in the main hill of the day, um, and there's some acceleration in the peloton, because uh, they're trying to catch the breakaway for some odd reason. Okay. That's not something I planned. Is that Lotto U23? Okay, it is. Um, but yeah, I would have liked maybe to be at the front of the peloton. Doesn't look like it's a possibility. Also, Ethan Hater has progressed, and you haven't seen it, uh, but Alessandro Fancheyu has had an incredible growth. Like, it's mental. I think he's 77 mountain now, which is great. So, the Continental Pro scene is not ready, right? The streets won't forget Alessandro Fanceu. Just under 20 kilometers left in this Pico Lombardia, and we're going to start the penultimate climb of the day. Ethan Hater already at the front. Uh, okay, I hadn't expected that. Hold up. Ah, the Thomas Pitcock was in the will of Ethan. Now it is. There we go. Much better. Uh, we've got Giga Horvat being protected by Ben Tollett. Because reasons. Uh, Charlie, you can take the wheel of Pitcock just for the sake of it. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to pace. 
see if we can maybe get some sort of a gap at one point. I don't know. That could be that could be funny. Uh, Giga, just try to hold on. Okay, we're going on a break. Nice. Thomas Pitcock and Ethan Hater are a bit too good. 17 riders. Giga Horvat is still within this group. Come on, Giga, mate. Push on them pedals. Come on, lad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You've got this, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this. All right. You've got this. I, I, I know you do. I know you do. Come on. Stay with them. Stay with them. 16 riders. And you're still here. That's my boy. That right there. That's my boy. Charlie, you can take the lead in that downhill portion. We're going to allow uh, Ethan to recover for a bit. 16 riders, we still have our entire roster at the front. Isn't that glorious? I feel like it is glorious. Diego Andres Camargo has been dropped. I believe not pace-wise, but maybe because he was badly positioned. Uh, or just he got blocked by uh, a few random individuals. 11k, Charlie Quarterman is the one putting the rhythm at the front. Uh, if this roof wants to come back, they're going to need to do it quickly. Like, ASAP. Otherwise, they're done. And Müller might be pacing for whoever his leader is. Himself. Uh, I think like Pina Jiménez might be able to, to make the, the cut here. He might be able to bridge both groups. Depends what Diego Andres Camargo can do after that. Because we're going to once again increase our rhythm. Shit, I got double Giga all that. Giga, come back here. Please, Giga. Thank you. Charlie Quarterman is done for the day. Ethan Ata with a solid, solid rhythm at the front. 5.6k until the line. I could genuinely go for the win with Ethan today. Now that I think about it. I could that, that, I mean that's a wise choice. Or or I could go for the win with Giga Horvat. No one, no one expected that, right? No one expected that move from Giga Horvat. Thomas, you don't really have to follow him. Or Ethan, actually, you can stop. Because Berwick is following you. There we go. Stonks. Just stonks everywhere. Because the group ahead, right, we're just going to make sure. You lot, just sprint, just in case. Ethan, sprint, just in case. Uh, I know it's a 59 sprint for Berwick, but still. Come on, Giga! Come on! No, 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 Thomas, Thomas, I love you, boss man. I really do. But right now, this is not your moment. Oh, no. Yes! We stopped him on the line. Yes! Gets in. It's a 1, 2, 3. Giga Horvat gets his first win with Williams Martini Cycling. Gets in there, son! Get in there! Right, 1, 2, 3 for Williams Martini Cycling. Giga Horvat finally gets his dub ahead of Thomas Pitcock and Ben Tullet. Granted, I fully gifted him to win, but it's fine. I don't really care at this point. Uh, also, if you heard some background noise, my bad, but a fighter jet just flew above my flat. So yeah, I don't live in Syria, by the way, nor in a, a region at war, although we are at war against COVID, according to my president. Uh, but no, it's a 1, 2, 3, 5. Get in there, Giga. Let's take a look at the rest of the calendar. That's not what I wanted to press, to press. but as I said, three more races. Uh, a race in Cameroon, Turkey, and Mexico. All right, I simmed uh, five stages of the Grand Prix Chantal Bia. We're going to take a look at the results. Ethan Eto won first stage. Decent. Sec I'm starting to see a pattern. Oh, Batista took the win in stage four. And Ethan Eto won stage five. Good. Good, that went well. Alright, we're in uh, Mexico for stage 4 of the Vuelta Michoacan uh, or Michoacan. Michoacan. We're gonna go with Michoacan. It uh, sounds better. Let's take a look at the GC. I honestly have no fucking idea. It's Nelson Sutton, did he? 20 seconds? Did he win every sprint stage? Ah, he pulled an Ethan Hater. He did. Is he good uh, when, he, when the road is high? Uh, he's not bad enough. He's not bad. Uh, however, we do have uh, we do have Alessandro Fanchayu. Alright, Ethan, you can stop. We're gonna try and have Ben Tullet, uh and Alessandro in the break. Let's see if we can do that. And if possible, I'd like to send someone else, like Andrea Vendrame, for example. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Uh, okay, no, 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 they're chasing me. They're chasing me. They're they're hella chasing me. Are they still chasing the other guys? 
They're not. They're they're happy with Fancha you and Ben Solid in the break. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, turns out that I've killed everyone. Uh, so yeah, that happened. That's quite jokes. Um, Ethan is in group E3, which isn't too far behind, right? We're with Nelson Soto, but we should be able to like easily beat him now. Ethan might be able to make a comeback in the leading group, and that'd be great so that we can have actually some uh, some health with uh, with Ben Solet and Drame, because uh, for now, they're looking hella dead. Alright, we've now started the downhill after the second KOM of the day. There's only 15 riders in the front group. Somehow, the person with the, mo the most energy out of my team is Ethan. I cannot explain it. Um, but the good thing is, the yellow jersey is like far, far down. He's with Connor Swift. So he's not going to cause me any trouble. If Thomas could come back, that'd be good. I don't think any of these guys would be a threat in the GC. Uh, so yeah, if they can come back, then it's absolutely brilliant for me. Because that would give me one additional teammate for uh, the remaining 89 kilometers of this race. 11 kilometers. We've been pacing uh, like absolute buffoons at the front. Uh, to make sure that Nelson Soto does not come back. And he won't. He won't come back. Uh, Owen Dool and Connor Swift are with this group with them lot. Uh, we're gonna attack because why not? It's funny. Oh, attacks up front. Attacks up front. Hello. Hello, Daniel Diaz. Or Detective Diaz. That works as well the, with the initials. Uh, I can paste 90 as well. Yes. Ethan Hater is not scared. Ethan will get the win today. Right? Ethan shall get LW. Because that's what he does. He only gets Ws. And like second places if we take a look at how this tour has gone. But it's fine. No one needs to know that. Um, there we go. We're going to make our train. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. It should be a 1, 2, 3. No, I should write bars. That's, that was sick. That, that was... Alright, Pitcock starting the sprint for Vendrame. 1.5 cancel the line. And there goes Ethan Hater. That's a bit too early. I might have blew it for the 1, 2, 3. Or even just for the win. I have blown it. Fucking <laughs> brilliant Black War. You dickhead. I didn't see there was another sprinter with us. I hadn't seen that. I'm actually stupid. I'm genuinely stupid, because now we're going to be behind Diego Antonio Ochoa in the GC. Fuck. <laughs> right, let's forget that we didn't get the win, yeah? Because right now the GC is looking quite peak. <laughs> How many stages is there left? Two? Yeah, two, two sprint stages. Uh, we'll do the last one. Alright, final stage of this dumb race. Why the fuck did I... Ah, uh, I hate myself because of that. Why is the GC? Is it still like me? Yep. <laughs> yep. It's still me. From 2nd to 6th, we out here. Big up Williams Martini taking a constant L. Uh, oh, the team is looking so dead as well. Ah. End of the season galore. We love it. We love it. Uh, oh, and you can stop pacing. Fanche, you can go in the break if you're allowed to. Actually, if you're allowed to, that'd be good. Because I can take bonus seconds and that. And it'd just be funny, I guess. Or I no, not funny. Why would I say fun? It's, it wouldn't. It would just mean that I could potentially gain a few positions in the general classification. I'm pretty sure I clicked on follow. Uh, oh, there's no more breakaway. 7k, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, Ethan, boss man. Yes, follow him. Can't you follow someone? Are you all dumb? Are you all, like, stupid or something? Why is my right-click not working? Hold up. Why is... Why can't I follow anyone? What? What? I can't follow anyone from another team. Is it because I'm, like, too far from the line or something? That's so weird. Uh, but anyway, Ethan, mate, just attack. Join these two plebs. There's three seconds to take, so no matter what the results, I'll still be behind them in the GC. But... Come on, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. 
Use your legs, boss man. You're not catching him right now. You're doing the exact opposite of catching him, which is getting dropped. Okay, deco us. I guess I'll take one second. I guess I'll take one second. A chibau. Okay, that also means if I come out third, uh, I'll win the GC no matter what. That's already a plus. Final six kilometers of the season for Williams Martini Cycling. And we have a win to grow and grab. We we have a GC to get. Ultra is already in the wheel of Ethan Ata. The good thing is that Ethan is the only rider in our team not affected uh, or impacted by any kind of uh, bad fitness. Uh, Thomas, if you could like stay in the wheel of Vendrame or else you'll get impacted by my fist in your head. Alright, come on Vendrame. Oh, I'm going to allow all of them lot to sprint. 1.8, there goes Pitcock. Uh, I'm going to wait because I'm going to get battered if I don't do anything. There we go. Come on, come on Ethan. Come on, 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 come on. At least top three. Oh my god. I choked royally. I massively choked. Mad. Okay. That's a very shit end of the season. Alright. Uh, that was it for this episode. That's also it for this season. We'll have one more episode, which will be a season recap. Should arrive on Sunday. I do hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new around here, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I shall catch you in the very near future. But my name has been Blackhawk. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye.